Hi guys, I am about to do a quick get ready with me. Sorry the lighting is so orange. My like lamp here at my vanity is so orange. Um, but I'm gonna do a quick get ready with me because I um, just got home from the gym, showered and made like a brunch. And now I'm gonna go do some editing. I have a vlog to edit. Um, I don't normally wear makeup every day, but I just figured I would show you guys like some products that I've been loving lately. First thing I'm using, this is my like go-to like foundation. It's the NARS um, Tinted Moisturizer. I love it, it's so good. I'm probably not gonna show you guys all the products and like do a super, this is not like a tutorial or anything. This is just me chatting with you guys while I get ready. But anyways, um, oh my God, I just had to delete videos off my memory card because it got full. And I was looking at some of the videos and the clips were of me with black hair, like really, really dark hair, <clears throat> which also don't mind my hair. It's kind of gross. Um, I need to redo this bun. This is from this morning. But anyways, um, oh my God, I don't know what I was thinking. Like, why did I think that that was a cute look for me? Because it wasn't. Also, this rat's tail, also not a cute look. Equally, equally bad. Um, then I'm going to take NARS concealer. I love NARS for um, face products. Take this NARS concealer. This uh, tinted moisturizer, it doesn't do much, but it does even out your complexion and it feels really nice and light on the skin. I either wear like no foundation, especially during the day, or I wear this, <clears throat> or I have this tinted sunscreen um, that my friend Quinn got from her esthetician and she gave to me and I've been really liking that as well. Um, so I'm like more of like a concealer bronzer type of gal than like super thick foundation just because i feel like it makes my skin look really like done and like heavy um also my allergies are crazy right now so my nose is quite dry so like putting more product on there also i hate the look of getting foundation on your lips it freaks me out but yeah oh my god i was looking at photos or videos of myself with dark 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 hair and that ish looked crazy you guys like i don't know what i was thinking i don't know who told me that looked good but i swear to god every time i go through some kind of change i look back at photos from like a few months ago and i'm like yo that looked crazy but then you know a few months later i change again and i'm like oh i looked crazy back then like i feel like we're always our own biggest critics um this by the way is the nars uh multiple illuminator stick thing and this is in the color south beach i love this this is so nice i use this as like eyeshadow i use it as blush it's this really pretty color it's almost gone i'm pretty sure i have a backup of it i think i bought it during the last sephora sale but i honestly don't even remember at this point um then i'm gonna use honestly my skin feels pretty like matte like i'm not gonna set it with powder or anything um i'm just gonna use this charlotte tilbury airbrush bronzer i love this i kind of like set my face with it um, and I'm using like a huge MAC brush just to throw that on, um, because also I feel like my face never matches my body, so I put this like everywhere I can put on my eyes, um, really simple, but yeah, for eyebrows, I don't fill them in really unless I'm like doing an intense eye makeup look, because if I do like eyeliner and stuff, I find that like my brows aren't filled in, it looks kind of funny. Um, but on the day to day, I just use this Anastasia Beverly Hills, I almost said Charlotte Tilbury. Um, it's just in the color brunette. It's a tinted brow gel. I'm actually almost out of this, so it's not really doing too much, but yeah. It just gives you a little bit of a tint to your eyebrows. I do think it helps, um, but it doesn't make them look unnatural, which I also enjoy. I like them to just look kind of messy and undone, which... I think we achieved that and then oh my god my nose being stuffed is actually like the bane of my existence like i can't get over my voice then i'm gonna use my l'oreal telescopic mascara and this is the tweezer man tweezer i'm uh, not tweezers eyelash color this stuff is so good i've been using it since high school i like it actually like after a few weeks i feel like it does an even better job than when you first buy it but it's so good and my eyelashes i have a lot of them but they are not very long so this definitely helps with that it makes them look a lot longer and i only put it on the top for like uh during the day oh i forgot to show you guys another one of my favorite like cream blush type of situation is the cloud paint from um glossier it's in the color dusk that's another good one i mean another good like natural looking bronzer 
is this Laura Mercier in Soleil one. Um, that's another girl. But yeah, then I just do a little lip. A little lip liner goes a long way. This is NARS. I believe this is stripped down. Yeah. This is like literally a nub. I, tell me if everyone, if anyone else is like this, I swear to God, I lose every lip liner. I'm actually shocked that I have this pencil, like still this tiny. You know what I mean? Like I feel like I lose it when it's like still a full pencil. They like roll out of my purse because I have these like dinky little purses that like something can easily slide through. Like none of my purses zip. So I feel like my lip pencils always just roll out. Um, so that's that. I don't look fully put together right now because I don't have my hair done. So I'm gonna do my hair and then show you guys. This is the um, Too Faced lip injection. I usually don't use this. I usually actually use the Laneige. There's construction going on, I'm sorry. Um, the Laneige, what's it called? Lip chapstick, whatever thing. Um, I usually use like a lip balm, but yeah, that's the word. Um, but I just have that in my makeup bag. So that's that. I'm going to do my hair and then I'm debating what I want to do. I have a video that I need to edit, but I don't know if I want to edit it, edit it downstairs just in my like little rec room or if I want to go to a coffee shop. Um, I also have a date night planned with Frankie. It's just a mini date night. We're going to make dinner at home and then we're going to go take the dog um, for a sunset walk and get ice cream. So it's going to be really cute. It's Friday night. So we're just having like a chill Friday because we want to wake up early and like be productive tomorrow. Um, but we're really excited. He's taking me to Jenny's ice cream, which I've never had, but I heard that Jenny's is like the best ice cream ever. I've heard it's even better than salt and straw. So I will let you guys know. I just recently actually had salt and straw. Um, but yeah, it's 1.30 right now. I've like already gone to the gym, taken the dog for a walk and um, done some work, showered, made brunch. And now I'm like ready to get going with my editing and stuff. Cause we're probably gonna like hang out around like 4.30. So yeah, I have like three-ish hours to get my work done. They're building a new restaurant near my house. So the, the noise is just insane. But anyways, um, wow, this lighting is so much better. Oh my God, my hair is really bothering me. It's not like slick. See, that will look so much better. It's literally just in a loose type of bun situation. So I'm gonna slick my hair, pick an outfit, and decide what I'm doing. Okay, I'm getting dressed right now. It's giving very much summer. I have this like little top on. You can't even see my pants. I'll show you guys in a minute. I'm putting on this belt, which matches my flip flops. This is giving very basic bitch, but I don't care. Honestly, I'm going to edit a video. Like I'm not. And also, I feel like this will be a cute outfit for ice cream afterwards. It's just simple, but I'll show you guys. But I'm wearing these like little vintage Levi's and some flip flops and this little top. So, summer, cute, whatever. Also, I'm spraying my replica beach walk. I haven't used this perfume in so long. Mm. This smells like summer. It literally smells like sunscreen. I told you guys about the in my last vlog, I think. I think it was my last vlog, not this one. Um, yeah, I told you guys about the um, body lotion that I just bought from Nuya that smells like sunscreen. This plus that is like the perfect combination. I'm actually gonna put some more on my chest because it's kind of peeling from the other day. So, if you want to see my last vlog, it's this one. It's the Nivea coconut oil infused. Um, oh my God, my closet door being open is literally driving me nuts. Um, also, in terms of where I'm gonna go do my work, I decided on a mixture of both things so i think going to a coffee shop where i don't know if there's going to be seating i don't know what the wi-fi situation is like and there's i don't know if there's gonna be an outlet that for some reason gives me anxiety um versus my downstairs area i know there's going to be seating i know i'm not just gonna like walk around and like worry if my laptop dies or whatever just like also right now la is kind of giving me the heebie-jeebies when it comes to like walking around with like a big bag with like my laptop in it something about that no but then parking there also no just like i'm a very anxiety ridden person if you guys cannot tell so i decided to make it easy on myself i'm like this is what we're gonna do we are going to put our stuff down in the downstairs rec room area i'm gonna put this lotion on my legs as well um and then i'm going to walk to this coffee shop get some air right now because i feel like i'm kind of cooped up right now i'm gonna get some air um walk to this coffee shop get myself a matcha walk back be ready to work, 
do my stuff. Um, Frankie wants to have an early dinner at like 4.30 or 5, so it's 2 o'clock now. It's not quite 2 o'clock. Um, this coffee shop's like a nine minute walk, so I'm gonna go to the coffee shop, get a matcha, listen to a podcast or something, and then come back. Or actually, I should FaceTime my mom. I haven't called my mom yet today. Um, and then come back and do my work in the downstairs lobby, so that way when Frankie's done with his work, I can just come back upstairs. I'm already ready like ready to have dinner in my cute little outfit and like go get ice cream and all that um so that way i'm not like just at a coffee shop i don't know why it's creating anxiety do you guys ever get like this where you like build up situations in your head when it's like so not that deep um story of my life anywho i'm gonna go We just got ice cream. I got this gooey butter cake um, flavor in a sugar cone and Frankie got like some chocolate brownie thing. And then we went into the pet store and he got some treats and we got him a toy. And he was such a good boy. He said hi to all the dogs. Right, buddy? Such a good boy. Yeah, so let's walk back. Yeah, I see you. Hi guys, good morning. It is two days later since we last vlogged. We're in the car, do you have anything to say? What? You're such a grump. Oh, I didn't know you were talking. You never talk in my videos. I thought you were talking to him. People probably think you have no personality. Little do they know he's the craziest person ever. My friend yesterday was like, wow, like, you know, Frank has a sales job. Like, that must be so hard for him and stuff. And I'm like, no, it's like super easy. He's really like good at, you know, talking to people. And they're like, I feel like you're way more outgoing than him. And I'm like, I'm actually really not. I'm like outgoing when it comes to like people I know. Oh my god, you didn't have your seatbelt on this whole time. I can't even post this. What did you say? Can you mix my yogurt? Can I mix your yogurt? I'm doing a lot of things right I have a dog in my lap and a camera in my hands. He's like... I can't mix your yogurt cookie. It's literally impossible. Anyways, it's Sunday. It's two days later. Frank and Um, And we are going to the oh my god huge jump um we're going to the what the frick is this thing called the rose bowl flea market it only happens once a month and we're going with a bunch of friends it's like a whole big couples outing i believe um if that's still the plan i know mariana and nick are going we're carpooling with them but i believe ajazi and sarah and their mans are coming oh, as she well just, she just got hit by a car who just got hit by a car this lady yeah holy crap no, like no that's not funny. I mean, she's okay. She's wa she was walking. She was on her bike. What the crap? That car. <laughs> Why are you laughing at that? That's You're the second time I've seen someone get hit by a car in the last like month. Wait, seriously? On who this, else got um, hit by a car? Someone on Melrose was like. Because people on Melrose, not even to say that it's anybody's fault, but people on Melrose straight up jaywalk, like through the traffic. Like I'll be driving, and all of a sudden I'm like full stop, like head back whiplash because um somebody here's your yogurt somebody just decided to cross during traffic hour like when cars are just moving not at a crosswalk um but yeah we're going to the flea market we're bringing the little boy he is gonna have a blast because i'm pretty sure mariana and nick are bringing their dog and he's obsessed with him 
obsessed. They're like besties, so it's gonna be an interesting car ride. But I think we're stopping at a coffee shop first and then we're going to straight to the flea market. So it should be really fun. We're gonna have a good day. It's Mother's Day. I just called my mom as you guys saw um, and wish her happy Mother's Day. This year she asked me to please not send her any flowers because I like send her flowers for every holiday. Um, and she was like, I actually really want a new tea set. So I got her like a uh, gold like china set with um, little teacups. Well, they're actually pretty large teacups because she said she wanted like really deep specific teacups. She like sent me a link. She's like, I love these teacups. So I'm like, you got it, dude. Frankie's going away um, for work for the next week. So this is the last day we have with him. We've had a really chill weekend. Yesterday I didn't vlog because I kid you not you guys, we didn't do anything. I literally had this like laundry list, quite literally laundry list, like I was supposed to do my laundry as well. Um, the only laundry I did was I washed my sheets and bedding, but this is really embarrassing. It didn't dry in time and it was late and we had to wake up early this morning. So Frank and I were like, okay, uh, screw it. We just like won't sleep on sheets. So I literally like went to bed without bedding. Like we had like a bl blankets and stuff, like spare blankets. But like our duvet was like naked. Like it didn't have a cover and like we didn't have like sheets on the bed and our pillows didn't have covers. Not the naked duvet. <laughs> Shut it. <laughs> um, but yeah, we were like, okay, whatever, F it. Like we're just gonna not have, whatever. We were so tired. And this morning I woke up at like 7.30 and you guys, like, I don't know if you remember from my old vlogs, I used to wake up at like 5.30 in the morning or like literally f effing 5 a.m. Um, you can't swear on YouTube. Yes, you can. Like, not really though. You have to check off boxes where it PewDiePie says like... PewDiePie does. Okay, well PewDiePie is an exemption. I'm obviously not PewDiePie. I think he can do whatever he wants, but, you know, us little people, we can't. So, um, yeah, I used to wake up at like 5 a.m. Lately I've been waking up at like 9. I've just like stopped setting alarms because I'm like, what's the point? Like just let your body sleep till it's natural. Usually my body, if I go to bed at a good time, my body naturally wakes me up at seven. But if I go to bed late, I feel like I literally have not been waking up until like my natural body wants to wake me up at like nine. So today would have been a 9 a.m. day. Yesterday, Frank also woke me up at seven um, because the dog was doing something cute and he wanted me to see. Oh crap, my camera battery's flashing. What am I gonna do? Okay, one of you guys gotta go. Thank you. I thought he was letting me. He started going. No, he was going and you started going. My boob is itchy. My mom said that's for money. It's a Russian superstition that if your boob is itchy, it means you're gonna come into money. So, just letting you guys all know. Um, <clears throat> how pumped are you? Scale one to ten. You found a spot first. Actually, can you? You need to message them. That what? Because I want, can you get, like they have like a pass thing I can. Yeah, but you can park here until 6 p.m. We're not going to be here uh -huh. until. Yes, huh? This is two hour parking, eight to six. Nobody okay. checks the two hour thing though. Thank you, where are you going? Alright, yeah, I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it. I didn't hate it. I mean, his movies are definitely... Everyone's filming. You guys have the same camera too? Yeah, it's so right. mine's so janky though. Well, actually hers is too. Yours is literally about to duct tape. Mine also has duct tape. Ariana and I have the same camera and it's <laughs> literally <laughs> falling apart at the seams. But uh, he's super nice. Like, like the other actors. Where the hump are we going? Red have the same. I know, literally same vlog. Oh, Dinkies! Hi, Stinky! Hi, guys! I just went to Creation, and there's actually one, and I got like a little nut bar situation, um, which looks really good, but. Just figured like a little snack because I assume we're all gonna get lunch together. And now I'm on the hunt for the restroom because I literally couldn't tell you where it is. Just roll with it. We may as well conjoin vlogs at this point. 
You guys, there's this huge engagement ring, like a fake one right here. And I just put it on and I go, Frankie, I think it's about time. Yeah. Hey guys, it's been hours since I picked up the vlog. We've just been chilling at home. Um, but I'm about to do my own nails, um, my own gel manicure. I have like this whole kit right here and I was drinking a little water with lime. I'm also currently watching the Kardashians and just chilling. Frankie's playing video games. Um, and I got this kit from Madame Glam. I've actually tried it once and it kind of it kind of works like my nails last a really long time um, and they're really easy to remove as well so i just filed my own nails down and buffed them and now i'm going to try my own gel so i'll show you guys how that turns out and we can see if it looks cute or not Later. okay honestly you guys not bad i'm like pretty impressed with myself like obviously i'm not a professional and my cuticles have seen better days, but like, here's my other hand. Um, they're not terrible. Like, they look pretty damn good. I have to cure them. I'm gonna go get um, acetone and like wipe them down because that's how you cure them. And that, or at least that's what I did last time, and it worked for me and it made them like last really long. So yeah, they look pretty good. So I'll link this down below if you guys want to try it. That is all for this vlog. I'm looking a little bit rough, but you know what? I'm about to. Um, finish my nails. I want to go eat some pineapple because Frankie just cut up a fresh pineapple in the fridge and it's calling my name. I'm watching Friends now and it's like 9 o'clock. I'm going to head to bed soon, um, but I know that he's leaving for Utah first thing tomorrow morning, so I kind of just want to spend a little bit more time with him, with him until he leaves. Um, but yeah, I love you guys all so much and thank you so much for watching.